Today we are going to look at this new feature which is to integrate uh, your meetings directly with WooCommerce products. So uh, to get started you'll need to have this plugin installed. So to get started you need to have this plugin installed <coughs> which allows you to uh, integrate your Zoom meetings with WooCommerce product as well as booking products. So uh, let's get started then. Add a new meeting. Let's say uh, this. After the integration, you would see a new field here, which allows you to check and uncheck this. So if you want your users to be able to purchase this meeting directly from this page, then you need to check this. So like uh, after checking, like you will define a cost. A cost needs to be defined. It's a required field. In case, so let's put it like 30 for now. <coughs> and then let's select the host and select the time. Let's say specific time and all that stuff which you can already see here. I don't think we have any images. I'll not upload the image for now. <coughs> in this this published space. So uh, what happens is like after we do this, a new WooCommerce product is also created on the product space. So uh, this product. Is linked with this meeting now so uh, this product this uh, you can see here there's a new product here and it's like assigned here like it shows you what product this is also so it's easier to identify in the later phase so you need to know that you should not delete this product uh, manually if you want to delete this product then like you should delete this meeting uh, this box also will be automatically deleted if you do that so um, what's the other catch here is like if you go into this product page and you try to buy it your user cannot buy this product he, the user needs to buy their product from the page i'll show you in a moment so uh and uh, that's the one thing and other thing is like if you uh, this product won't show you in your like product uh shop page so like this is created as a as a hidden product so it's like hidden so uh, this product won't show you so on your like shop page or anywhere else on your system so that's it about the product page so let's get into how we book your meeting or so uh, currently is showing me a join meeting or join you know like start this buttons are showing for me why because like I am the author of this meeting so as an author I should be able to do like start the meeting here from directly right so it doesn't make sense to show by button to me so it's it directly shows this kind of uh, links already for the authors so uh, the authors is like here you can control you know this author is linked with your zoom host ID so you need to know that kind of stuff as well so let's book this meeting then let me open up a new incognito mode <coughs> and check the same meeting page so this is to the other users now they can see here a buy now button and they cannot see the joinings unless they buy the button buy the meeting so let's try buying the meeting so when you do the buy now process like uh, it's added in your cart as usual and this product cannot be bought price so let me show what i mean so i've already added this product in the cart once so if i uh, try to add this product again it won't allow me to add it twice so this is just to, uh, it's, it says like you already have this meeting in your cart so it says uh, it's just limited to one meeting at a time of checkout purchase so like if you have other uh, products in your cart and then like it's not a meeting then you can like uh, increase you know the quantity and all, all that stuff for the other products but if it's a uh, zoom meeting then you cannot do that so let me show you other so is like uh, in the cart page also it shows you the time and time zone etc so like if you go and try to increase this value here it won't allow you that also 
so yeah it's uh, restricted like that so let's get into the checkout so let me log in first <coughs> So I have already added this product in my cart. So let me straight go to the checkout, please. Place the order here. So after I place the order here, now this is an order that is on hold because I have used a bank transfer method. So uh, if you do a PayPal or any other methods, it would go into the processing status of the orders. So if on an order is processing on processing status or completed status, then uh, he or she will receive the join links in their emails as well. So like it's on hold right now. So if I change it to the processing status here, then uh, in this section of the page also, you know, it would so like join from here. Like maybe you can directly be joined from here and so forth and or the other thing is like if you go into the my account section and then uh, there is a new uh, meeting section over here like if you click here then the recent meetings can also be joined from here so if the uh, order is on on hold uh, then this joining won't be shown here so that's the thing uh, yeah I think uh, that's about it for this one i guess hope you guys like it